Now let's review the process for uploading a pipeline from the Cell Profiler website to do a fluorescent image uh, analysis. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Cell Profiler website. After you land on the home page, you can go to examples, scroll down, published pipelines, here, and now you see a list of published pipelines. We're going to go ahead and look for ERBEN et al. from 2017 a novel ultra-sensitive in-situ hybridization approach to detect short sequences and splice variants with cellular resolution. I'm going to go ahead and click download and that'll give you a zip file. When you open that zip file you will see two different pipelines defaulting, the base scope quantification and the multiplex RNA scope quantification. So go ahead and choose multiplex RNA scope quantification and um, load that up into Cell Profiler. So once you have that loaded, I have actually made a few modifications to that pipeline, but this would be what it looks like after you follow the instructions in the tech note. So the main thing to get you started here is that if you're using the most recent version of Cell Profiler, you're going to want to um, I would say go for the approach of loading separate channels for each fluorescent channel and then in the names and types instead of all images you choose images matching rules and then you include all of these details so the file does contain and then put C1 for channel 1 name to assign these images C1 and then this will be a color image because what you're actually going to do is call the DAPI image, if it is in blue, if it's an RGB image, then that will be a color image that you would um, use the color to gray module here to split into a grayscale image, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go back to images, and I'm going to actually load individual channels. So now I've labeled my channels C1 for DAPI, C2 for the green channel, this is OPAL 520, C3 for OPAL 570, the red channel, and, and C4 for the white channel, OPAL 690. Now because this is in white, I don't actually use a color to gray module to split the white. Instead, once we get to the enhance or suppress features, the first one I'm using will be the green, so orange green is the output from my color to gray split. The second enhance or suppress features will be enhanced white, and this is straight from C4, so the original image. I didn't split this into a grayscale because it's already in white. The third enhance or suppress features will be from the color to gray for the red channel, which is actually this one here the third color to gray module. So after you do these initial steps of color to gray changing uh, the color image to the grayscale image and then perform enhance or suppress features on each of the ish channels, at that point you're ready to start identifying the primary objects for the nuclei and then each of the ish channels.